Those streets treated him with the respect, admiration, and the dignity he earned and deserved. However, he died in a place that he trusted would care for him while he couldn't care for himself. Allegedly mistreated, neglected, and without the dignity he so deserved. Joaquin Rivera was a founding member of the National Congress for Puerto Rican Rights, but this is more and bigger than Joaquin and the Congress. He positively impacted tens of thousands of lives in his lifetime, but this is more than that. This is about consequences. His positive attitude manifested itself in his positive impacting behavior. Consequently, he positively impacted thousands of people throughout the U.S. of all ages up until last week. Disgracefully, the attitude of several individuals manifested themselves in their negative impacting behavior towards Joaquin. Consequently, the Puerto Rican community and the community at large must suffer the tragic and senseless loss of one of her most productive and contributing sons. We want all hospitals to know that it starts today. This is Joaquin's last Human and Civil Rights Act. His case is the dawn of an ongoing struggle that the National Congress for Puerto Rican Rights is now and more than ever committed to taking on. Joaquin Rivera, the National Congress for Puerto Rican Rights, and the Pennsylvania community at large will help bring national attention to the issue of health care in our community. We are in need of health care that promotes and protects the dignity of the sick, whether black, white, Puerto Rican, Latino, rich, poor, young, old, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, war veteran, mentally ill, drug addicted, homeless, just human. We want Pennsylvania to know that it starts here. We demand that Joaquin Rivera Sr. be made whole for his family and his community. We call on Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell to order the Secretary of Health to immediately conduct a thorough and comprehensive investigation on this egregious act and gross negligence committed by the Franklin Hospital on Joaquin Rivera, which caused the loss of his priceless life. We also call on State Representative Tony Payton, State Senator Tina Tartaglione, Congressman Bob Brady, and Senators All Inspector and Bob Casey to become involved and work with the Secretary of Health to ensure a thorough, just, and objective investigation and to help ensure that this never happens in another Pennsylvania hospital again. That said, we told the line where we must hold Frankfurt Hospital accountable while at the same time help Frankfurt Hospital move forward toward a stronger and prosperous community-centered healthcare provider. We are committed to doing both. However, let it be known that we will not relent until the families, the National Congress of Puerto Rican Rights, and the community's reasonable demands are met as it relates to the personal interests of Joaquin Rivera, his interest in the community, and the interest of patients who seek treatment at Frankfurt Hospital.